ago this happened yes that says pregnant it's like that now it says pregnant so let's just say we went on a trip to celebrate our 10 year anniversary and that is what we came back to and y'all i was shook and i know some of y'all are gonna be like girl why are you shook like you know what happens when you have unprotected sex but y'all i was not expecting that at all yeah, I was actually ovulating on the trip. And we had been doing good, you know, Colton had been talking about getting fixed because we were pretty sure that we were good with two. Two just felt good. I feel like I could make it through the rest of life with two kids and not be, you know, just stressed all the way out. So we were feeling really good with just having two. So, yeah, y'all know I'm type A personality, I like routines and all of that, and two just felt really good. But now that we're about to throw a third one in the mix, I don't even know, like, yeah, I'll pray for me, seriously. But I'm about to get ready to go to my first ultrasound appointment, which I am super excited about and a little bit nervous about because you guys know I had a miscarriage around this time last year. So I'm a little bit nervous about it, but just praying everything goes well. Um, yeah, so super excited just to hear the heartbeat and all of that and just take you guys along this journey because this was the last thing I was really expecting. Like, it is true what they say. You make plans and God be like, gotcha. <laughs> so we just got finished with the ultrasound and Little baby is definitely in there because y'all ain't gonna lie, I was a little bit in denial. I don't know, I don't know what I thought they was gonna <laughs> tell me what's going on, but yeah, we got the ultrasound. <laughs> and there's the man responsible for this. Takes two. <laughs> he sneak attacked me, y'all. It takes two. I just, I don't know. I cannot believe that we are doing this again, y'all. We literally had already given away everything. The Duna car seat, um, the baby Breeza, the bassinet. Like, y'all, we have literally given away everything because we were pretty certain that we were done. So, this is like, this is such a shock. Make plans. Somebody else laughs. I literally told them that this morning. <laughs> yeah, like legit. Make plans and God's land. God's, 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 not God's, God. <laughs> so yeah, everything went well. My due date is in January. So we're super excited, but still just shook, like in denial. I'm not gonna say denial, but just shook for sure. Yeah, I, I never imagined myself as a mom of three. I will say that for sure. But here's here we are. Yeah, <laughs> we're here, and we're we're gonna we're gonna do a great job at it. You should put a pose up so they can like guess if it's a boy or a girl. Yeah. Uh, so I really think it's a girl. I really, really think it's a girl. But I don't know if that's just because I have two boys and I'm like, okay, I need a girl now. But I really think it's a girl. Your brother said he's gonna have to have two boys first. That's what he said. He did say that. And he tagged me on Facebook the other day and was like, your third ad will have a baby at the beginning of the year. And I was like, hey, he always wishing pregnancy on me. I swear he has always put something on me. But 
we'll see. So, I don't know if we're going to do the um, sneak peek gender or not. You can do that at, I think as early as like eight weeks. And then they had this other thing that she was telling us about that's called a maternity 21 plus and you do this at 10 weeks and what did she say this tells you? It shows like everything. It's uh, like it's like um, genetics. Gen gender, genetics, everything. Oh, okay. You know, tests for uh, genetics or like if um, like Down syndrome or something like that. Yeah, this will be our rainbow baby. As you guys know, I had a miscarriage around this time last year. And it was almost the exact same day that I found out. But it was a year later, if that makes sense. And the due date is only like 10 days apart. Yeah, the due date isn't that far apart. So yeah, it, it's it's so crazy how that works. So we obviously must be getting it on around our anniversary every year <laughs> <laughs> or something. All right, guys, so I am almost 12 weeks now and it does not seem real. I cannot believe I'm almost in my second trimester, but here is the baby bump. Nothing really serious. Definitely feels like bloat, but I can definitely tell like things are expanding. My waistline is, you know, getting bigger and all of that, but it's still in that stage where it's like, I just look bloated. But almost 12 weeks and we are about to get ready to tell Uriah and he is going to be so excited because before we even knew any of this was gonna happen he came to me and Colton and he was like I really want a baby sister and we were like um yeah that's probably not gonna happen because like I was telling you guys we had no plans to have any more kids like we had given everything away like we really thought that this stage of life was over. So when he asked us about that, we were just kind of like, um, yeah, don't think that's gonna happen. And he was like, well, I'm just gonna pray to God about it. <laughs> so that night we went to bed, we were saying his prayers and he was like, God, please, please, please give me a baby sister. So I know he's gonna be really excited. We don't know what we're having yet, but we got the baby part down. So I know he's gonna be so super duper excited. I know the first thing he's gonna ask is, is it a baby sister? Um, so his cousin, my nephew, he has two baby brothers and two baby sisters. So you're right, was like, well, I think I need a baby sister. Like, I really want a baby sister. So that's all he's been talking about. So don't know if he'll get a baby sister, but he's definitely getting a new sibling. So we are going to tell him today. And I got this little onesie off of Etsy. And it just says, baby Pearson, coming soon. And we're going to put it in this little bag. So I'm super excited to see what his reaction is going to be because I know he's going to be super excited. Hey, Uriah. Yeah. Can you come here for a second? What you think? What you think? I think it's a girl. <laughs> I'm so happy. All right, guys. So today is officially the gender reveal. We are going to be doing a little dinner party. Super excited about it. Um, so it starts at five. It's about two thirty now. So just getting ready. Still have a couple of things that we need to do. Um. We have everything decorated. We're gonna be having it down in our basement. But yeah, so just 
a little dinner party with um, immediate family. And yeah, we are super excited about it. And based off the symptoms, I really don't know what I'm having because I feel like the wives' tales are always like half and half. Like sometimes things they say are for a girl, it's really a boy. So I don't know. It's just kind of been down the middle. Um, I know they normally say if you're really sick, that means you're going to have a girl. But I was really sick with Uriah and Ezra and obviously their boys. I love this cream blush. This is um, by Mario, Makeup by Mario. And this is Berry Punch. Such a pretty plum color. I've been into like the cream and liquid blushes here lately. But yeah, so just based off of symptoms, I'm not really sure. I have been super, super tired, you guys. I feel like it's gotten worse. I thought as I got more into the second trimester that it would get a little bit better, but no, I'm still really tired. But I hope that that ends soon so that I can just enjoy the second half of the pregnancy because, y'all, I have to take a nap every single day. That's how tired I am. Like I usually take at least a 30 to 45 minute nap. Yeah, so I've just been really tired, really nauseous, really sick. Haven't really had any cravings um, other than apples. I eat red apples every single day, probably like three times a day. <laughs> I feel like I've had so many food aversions and I can't really drink anything except for water. Um, if you know me, you know I love a Sprite. Can I drink a Sprite? Couldn't drink Sprite when I was pregnant with Ezra. Um, I was able to drink Sprite when I was pregnant with Uriah, but yeah, I cannot drink Sprite. Um, no lemonade, really, nothing like that. So that's been interesting. But yeah, this pregnancy has just been really interesting. Um, of course, we were not trying, um, although we really have hadn't taken any type of precaution um I just thought that it wouldn't be anything that happened so easily because with Ezra it took us like three times like we really had to try like I had to figure it out so um yeah it's just been really interesting um and it wasn't like I don't want to go into detail but it wasn't like a full slip up so um I just didn't think that I would be pregnant and all of this happened when we went to celebrate our 10 year anniversary. So yeah, y'all be careful on them anniversary trips, okay? Because they might give you an unexpected, an unexpected gift. But nevertheless, super excited and can't wait to find out what baby number three is. Okay, so I'm gonna put on some lashes and a little bit of lipstick, and that will be the look. Um, but yeah, this is for sure the last one for us. Colton is going to get fixed before, um, before the baby is even born because, yeah, I know just more than three is completely out of the picture like it doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl I'm not trying for a specific sex we weren't even trying this time at all so yeah it does not matter what the baby is there will not be another time <laughs> so yeah okay so I pulled my hair back and these are the earrings that I'm gonna be wearing so I'm gonna go ahead and pop these on bought these off of Amazon. Super cute. I think they're like a Bottega dupe, but I don't really know because I don't really keep up with them like that. But yeah, those are so cute. And then this is the dress. So cute. So it has pink and blue in it and a little ruffle sleeve, a little ruffle at the bottom. 
Here's the dress on with the bump. Super cute. I think it's the perfect gender reveal dress because it has the pink and the blue in it. And I love that it's this ruched material around the belly. So no matter how big your belly gets, it'll always fit. So yeah, I think I'm going to wear just like a clear, small little heel. Yeah, but this is the outfit. And then I'm going to wear the Gucci floral perfume. So just go ahead and put some of that on. Thankfully, I haven't had a problem with like perfumes or smells or anything like that. But yeah, that's the look. Colton's getting dressed right now. And then I'm going to get the boys dressed. You're soon to be daddy of three. Getting ready. So any any final guesses? I'm uh I'm gonna go girl, team girl. Or I got two crazy little boys. <laughs> okay, last time you said you thought it wasn't a girl because I hadn't gotten ugly. So what what what's the deal? You saying you saying you think my face card is starting to decline? <laughs> We'll just call it wishful. I think my face card is still good. So yeah, we're going against the grain. We're going against the grain. So here's the decor. We decided to do the bear theme. Like we can barely wait. Have the old baby in the front, the clouds, and we're going to be doing the tic tac toe for the reveal. So yeah, everything turned out super cute.